Hello, this is Maria from Math Mammoth and this is Mathy, my mascot. In this video, we're going to write an equation with an unknown forward problem. And this is our problem. Joshua owns 10 pairs of socks. There are 14 socks in his drawer and the rest are in the wash. How many socks are in the wash? Okay, so we think about this 10 pairs of socks. How many socks is that? Is it 10? No. Each pair is two socks. So actually 10 socks means 20 socks. So he owns 20 socks. But only 14 are in his drawer. Okay, so we have this 20 and 14. And then it asks how many are in the wash. Can you see the answer already? Maybe you can. But to write an equation for this problem, we need an unknown. The unknown is how many socks are in the wash. That's what we don't know. So that's why it's the unknown. We're going to use a letter for it. It can be any letter. Matty, what letter would you choose? M? Why M, Matty? Because we're Matty. Matty, M. Well, I suggest S because it's talking about socks, right? So we have S, socks. And this is how I would write an equation for it. There's actually several ways. One way is that he has these 14 socks and then he also has this unknown number of socks and if you add those together you get the total of 20. That's the total number of socks he has. And the other way would be we could use subtraction. We could write 20 minus 14 equals S. And here's the third way, just turning the previous one around, which is that S equals 20 minus 14. Okay, let's just now use this first equation I had written, which was 14 plus S equals 20. And that's a super simple equation. We can see the answer is 6. And we're going to write the answer, or we call it the solution. The solution to this equation like this. S is the unknown and the S equals 6. Okay, now we have another problem. In this one, Matthew baked 25 muffins and gave 12 of them to his friend Matt for a birthday present. And then there's no question. Word problems have questions, right? Yeah, normally. So what could we ask? Since it's lacking the question, let's make up one. What could we ask if this was a math word problem? Oh, Matthew has an idea. Ah, okay. Are you serious? He's saying that the question could be, did Matt like the muffins? Well, yeah, that's silly. But if it's a math word problem, it has to do with those numbers in the problem. So what could we ask? Yeah, we can ask how many muffins are left for Matthew to eat. Okay, so how many muffins are left for Matthew to eat? We need to choose an unknown and a letter to represent that unknown. And so this has to do with muffins. Let's use M. And we could write that there's 25 muffins and 12 of them go away. And if you calculate that, then that gives you how many are left, the M, the muffins. Okay. Or you could write it this way, M equals 25 minus 12. Either way. And then the solution is we write that m equals something. What does m equal? 30. 13 muffins are left to eat. Okay, I hope this was helpful.